This demonstration will focus on using the Set Data Fields wizard to populate multiple data fields of which will be used to convey information to a user about the workflow as well as direct the flow of the process. When you use data fields within your process, there are multiple ways to populate them with values during the course of your workflow. The Set Data Fields wizard gives you the power to set the data field values either by hard coding a specific value in at design time, using an inline function to calculate a dynamic value during runtime, or pull in a dynamic value from a smart object during runtime. This demonstration will show all three of these capabilities within this workflow wizard. To demonstrate this wizard, I'm going to use a simple SharePoint list that takes in a currency amount value from a user, then starts a workflow that will set the values of multiple data fields and send an email back to the originator that will show those values after they are set. To save time, I've pre-configured some pieces of this workflow. So let's open up the workflow settings and click into the data fields window first. From here, we can take a look at the data fields I have created, just for this demo, so that we can keep track of what happens to each data field, I prefixed each of them with an abbreviation that represents how I'm going to populate each one with a value using the set data fields wizard. I'm going to hard code a value into the hello world field. I'll use an inline function with the day created field, and finally, I'll populate the cash amount field with a value from a smart object. So let's drag and drop the set data field step onto the placeholder box, which will give me the dialog to set my data fields. You'll notice that the wizard is automatically populated with all the data fields I created in the workflow settings window. You can use this window to update one or many data fields depending on the design of your process. In my case, I'll set these values for all three fields in this step. For the field called Hello World, I'm just going to hard code some text. For the Day Created field, I'm going to use the Date and Time inline function called Weekday from the Context Browser. And I'll include the created date from the SharePoint list item reference. Now, for the cache amount, I could also use the context browser item reference to the list to get this, but for this part of the demo, I'm going to use the list's getListItemById method defined in the smart object for the list and drop it into the data field. Keep in mind, this value could come from virtually any other external system based on a smart object method you want to call to get to it. With that, all my fields are configured, so I'll click OK. At this point, I have pre-configured two outcomes for the workflow to take. One outcome, called Email Values, is going to send an email message to the originator with the values of all three data fields contained within the body of the message, as you can see here. The other outcome, called High Cache Amount, will evaluate based on the value stored in the cache amount data field. If the amount is greater than or equal to 10,000, then it will fire off an email that basically says the cash amount is high and needs another review. This is just one example showing how you can use data fields to direct the workflow outcome based on information that may change at any given moment. With that, I'll finish this up and deploy the workflow so I can get into demonstrating how it works. I'll enter in two items here to demonstrate the workflow outcomes based on the value of the cash amount. The first item I'll enter will just have a cash amount of 5,000. This should only send one email that lists all the values of the data fields that I set in the workflow. And with that, I'll move over to my Outlook web client, and here we can see that just one email came across since the cash amount was under 10,000. You can also see that the data field values were set in the workflow and appear in the body of the message. Next, I'll add an item that has a cache amount of 15,000. Having done that, we should now see two email messages in Outlook. The first message still shows all the values of our data fields. 
and the second message demonstrates that the outcome path for a cash amount greater than or equal to 10,000 evaluated and sent an email stating the cash amount was high and needs a higher level review. So now you can see how the Set Data Fields wizard can extend your capability to control the outcome of your process as business data changes. We would like to thank you for watching this demo on how to use the Set Data Fields wizard. We hope you have a better understanding of how and when you can use this workflow step to configure data fields within workflows used by your organization.